He's burying that bat handle. The two and two. Struck him out swinging. So he just fanned twice. That's four K's already for Hitchcock. And that's all. And on a daily basis, complete Boyer working with him. Ball for Hitchcock. Decides to pass on Colburn. Appreciate lack of efforts as that one was. Colburn leading at first and the 2 1 pitch. The bat is split in half as it drops into right for a single. Colburn advancing to second, so they're two on with one out. Let's go to the studio. Here's Pam Ward. All right, Dave, the Giants. Also, John Burkett lost his first decision of the year yesterday as well to Arizona. The 0 1 pitch, a trickler to third. Wilson with a tough play, a do or die, and he does. Well done by Enrique Wilson. Colburn to third base, DeRazo to second. And Wilson on a hard charge, scooped it cleanly. The left hander's one two pitch. The other way, Spencer on the run, and he can't get it. It drops in. Colburn scores, DeRazo scores, into second, Finley. And he hurts his friend here with a two run double. And that ties the ball game. Well, you know he's not going to come in again. You almost got to that pitch, so you look. When Bonds put one up there. They said, what, an estimated 470 feet away? A shot into the upper deck. Cut on and missed. Miller fan, side retired. But Arizona draws even on a two run double by Steve Finley, a buddy of Sterling Hitchcock. In this building over the weekend. Ron Coomer pops up behind the mound, and there's Spivey for the catch. Let's quickly go to Pam Ward in against Randy Johnson at Yankee Stadium. Line right center field hit pretty well, but Finley will back up to the track to make the catch. Two gone, and now Tim's. He did the second. 3 2. He struck him out. Got him with a breaking mm -hmm. ball. And it's a recovery inning for Randy Johnson. Still not happy with something, but he got the one, two, three. We're tied at two. Making the count, getting on base to walks, and then he got away from it. Poked the other way along the line, and it drops down a fair ball. And it jumps up into the seats. And so Tony Womack will take second base on the ground rule double, and he's quickly into scoring position. Council recently before the season signing a multi year big money deal. Lines a base hit into right. Womack heading for third, and Eddie Rodriguez will put the brakes on him there. Nice chuck in from Tim's, the right fielder, but a hit for Council. And they're on the corners with none out. Let's go to the studio and Pam Ward for a high pitch gun, 91 of them, and he does not have an out in this inning. Runners at first and third. Council takes off. And it's hit right behind Craig Council into right field for a hit. A run in, and Council is into third. So an RBI single for Spivey, his 41st run batted in. Boy, what a find in him. Played three in Atlanta in 2000. And the Yankees played six games against the Mets last year. A pickoff throw. They get Spivey in a rundown. Council hung up between home and third. He is being chased down by Posada. Posada will try and tag him. Didn't get it. Throw to the plate. And Hitchcock gets it. But no tag made around third base. Spivey able to get into second. Joe Torrey is coming out to argue. Council called out. How Council got by the first pass on the first tag attempt. Well, he's just going to argue that he thought that time called stealing home with Jody Foster, and I got a cool jacket out of it. Base hit into right. Spivey into third base. Rodriguez waves him around. He slowed down a little bit, but he's going to score the run. He's hurt. And yeah, it looks like he was a little bit lame. Yeah, he's grabbing the back of that leg around the hamstring, and that's the reason he was balky coming around third. An RBI single for Gonzalez. Eddie Rodriguez. He just stroked an RBI single, and that brings on Ramiro Mendoza. He has really been the Yankees' Mr. Fixit. 
the last several years. The only major league pitcher to have recorded at least one win as both a starter and a reliever each of the last five years. Now ball sharply. Soriano shovels to Jeter. One there and on the first for the double play. Well done by Mendoza. He faces one hitter. A two run score. The Diamondbacks lead it. He struck out six, but he's also allowed a two run homer and a total of four hits. Jeter goes the other way, driven to right field. Guillen backing up to the wall and it sneaks out. That is gone. A home run. Number eight for Derek Jeter. Not far from the spot, he knocked it out in the World Series against Arizona here at Yankee Stadium last fall. That was a game winner. He doesn't hit many home runs. He hasn't in the past, but the thing you got to run down. On ball the other way. Gobble up by DeRazzo. He waves off the big unit. One down. Knew that the Diamondbacks were a better club. They could have won all seven games. Top back to the big unit, and all 6'10 of them hauls it in. Uh, number two, let's go to the studio for an update, and here's Pam. He has extraordinary vision. Got hit by that pitch. And he will take first base. One ran in right around the arms. And he is on base. He didn't care. He's three years. Fastball got him looking. 98 miles an hour. Just a blur to Man Posada. A man left, but a run in on the Jeter opposite field homer. And it's a one run game in the Bronx. Terrazzo with a soft roller to Soriano. Ball up one down in the sixth inning. The workout habits are terrible. They got better, and so did he. 2 2 hammered. Nice play by Wilson behind third. A lengthy throw. He skipped it, and it's hauled in by Boomer. For the out. A fine effort by Wilson. He's handled that position marvelously tonight, going back and coming in to see one of his horses win the Kentucky Derby. That's his goal. Swing and a miss. He strikes out. That pony never left the gate. And those who fans him, it's a 1 2 3 for him. A one run game in New York. The man, he doesn't have to explain anything. Grounded, and in comes Donald's. His first chance right away. Handles it cleanly. Now number one. Donalds is just another one of those pieces to the puzzle that the hamstring and he was removed as a precautionary measure. Popped up into right. Long run council. In comes Gian though. And there are two gone. Very good. Stung in the right center field, a gap shot, but Finley will cut it off. That's the second time tonight that Spencer hit it right on the screws. And you know what? They've got some questions right now. Guys that have touched home. This guy touched home with one swing of the bat. The runner takes off. The throw by Miller in time to get him. He cuts down Shane Spencer. Put it right on the bag. And Tim's is left standing in the box. Still 4-3 Arizona.